I've run into a problem. I cannot loop 10 loops around the cord with what's left of my yarn, which means there's too little. So now I have to figure out what to do. So I'm going to untie or untape the end from my needle so that my needle is no longer attached. And then I'm actually going to cut this down a little bit so that it's not so short. I mean, if so long, so, I, so that I maybe have an inch and a half left. Now we don't want our yarn, we want it to be embedded inside our quill. We do not want it sticking out. We do not want a knot in there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my other piece of yarn, which I have selected, and I'm using a different color. So I chose purple this time. And I'm going to lay both of the pieces of yarn going away from the body of the coil. So they're both going away from the body of the coil like this. And then I wanna hold it here and I wanna start wrapping. And I'm using a thinner yarn this time. So I'm gonna go 15 times instead of 10. Three. And I am wrapping down the cut yarns, three. four, five, six, seven, eight. And you see how I am wrapping it down the cord and it is covering up the yarn that I cut. So I'm going to unwrap it so that you can see one more time. So we can make sure that we fully understand what it is that we're supposed to do. Okay. So I'm going to unwrap it completely so that you can see again. So here is my yarn that was too short and I'm going to lay it away from the bottom of the basket so that it's pointing towards the long cord. I'm going to take my new yarn and I'm going to lay it right next to that one so they are both pointing away from the bottom of the basket. But then I'm going to take the new yarn and I'm going to begin, I wanna pinch it really close to where I stopped. And I'm going to begin wrapping around. And I want to, my yarn is thinner now, so now I'm also wrapping 15 times instead of just 10. So I'm going to wrap around, making sure that I don't see any white. And now I have the benefit of having new yarn, but there's no knot, so it looks better. And that's what we want, because we want it to look neat and tidy. We want to have good craftsmanship so that we get all our points. And also so that we just have a really cool basket instead of a basket that doesn't really look that good. So I'm going to go down 15 times. And once I hit 15, I'm going to stop. And I'm going to take my needle just like I had it before. And I'm going to go through the next coil. So I'm going to fold it over, wind it around, go through. So here's the coil I'm working on. I'm going to go through the next coil. 